Exercise 44, H lookup function, part of the Excel 2007 core exam prep guide brought to you by Shiftkey Solutions. In this exercise, we're going to be working here with the Dean's List workbook. And what we want to do is apply a year in school in this column, meaning freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or what have you. We want to identify what year in school a particular student is in at the moment. So what we're going to use is a table down here under credits and year in school for our formula. Now in this case we're going to use an HLOOKUP function for our formula. And HLOOKUP stands for horizontal lookup. So we're going to begin our formula by putting our equal sign in here. Now the added twist to this particular formula will be that we're going to use a name range in our formula. And as I create this, you're going to see exactly what I mean. So I'm going to do equals and then, then begin my function as HLOOKUP. And there it is. Press tab. And it says what lookup value, which value are we going to look up? Are we going to look up the GPA, the credits, the quality point. Well, the credits is what measures what year we are in when we're in school. So I'm going to identify this as E4 and then I'm going to do comma and then it says table array. Now ordinarily I would come down here and click and drag to select this range. Well in this case I don't want. This range has been given a name and it's called credits. So I'm going to start typing the word credits. There it is. Now if I look at my list here, normally the only thing that displays here are functions. Well in this case, this is a label, a label of a name range. So this is the one I want, credits. And then I'm going to do comma, and it says row index number. Now it just so happens that Excel counts top to bottom in our rows. So this is row one, and this is row two. So I want to have row two displayed in here. All right, so at this point, I'm going to click my enter check mark, and it's that easy. Sophomore. So I'm going to fill this down, and there they are. Now, if you remember from exercise 43, when we entered in our table array, we had to absolute reference that table array. Well, because this table array has been given a name of credits, we don't have to use absolute because this name will always refer to this area. It's real simple. All right, well, that concludes exercise 44, H lookup function. Next, we'll be working with exercise 45, text to columns.